Hi, I'm Jared Chester, part of the Bex PFR team in our London, Ohio site. Today we want to share with you a new piece of tillage equipment we're trying out for 2019. It's a 2984 strip freshener made by Yetter. So as we look at the unit, we've got a three-point mounted bar. Um, each unit has a set of heavy-duty parallel leakage arms that allow each unit to be independent of the bar and better follow the contour of the ground, just like a planter row unit. From there, on the front of the, each unit, um, there's the option of getting uh, row cleaners, which we really like, especially in this heavy corn residue situation, to go ahead and move that residue away from uh, the ground before we actually do the tillage. From there, we've got a rippled coulter, two more of those shark uh, razor blades that actually do the tillage in that strip. And then on the back of the unit, um, kind of unique, is actually this paddle wheel. And the wheel not only busts clods and finishes leveling up the strip, but also it's actually your depth gauge. So you can uh, adjust the depth on these. Yetta recommends from an inch and three quarter deep, clear down to four inches deep, depending on your situation, soil type, and tillage practices. Pretty big differences as we're out here a week after we ran this 2984 strip freshener tool. First off where the strips are made, it's drying out and warming up faster. As we tracked it with a soil thermometer, in the morning there's not much difference between our no-till and our strips, but in the heat of the day we're seeing a four to five degree advantage to where that strip freshener ran. The other big advantage that we see is just being able to move that residue and have a more consistent uh, planting zone throughout the field. With a no-till pass, a lot of times we'll have uneven residue spread. So in some parts of it, we'll have dry soil that'll warm up and dry out fine. Then other parts where residue's laying, we'll um, have cold, wet soils that, are, that make planting tough. Um, now, a lot of guys in the spring, when they're faced with a heavy residue situation like this, will run a vertical tillage tool to then spread that residue, size it, and hopefully warm those fields up faster. But one thing that I really struggle with whenever we, we make a tillage pass, especially in the spring, is actually burying some of that residue and having to work through it with the planter. Because a lot of times, once you bury that residue, then it creates an inconsistent seed zone. So it's going to have inconsistencies in temperature, moisture, and also bulk density or seed to soil contact. That's one thing that I really like after running this 2984 is that it, it clears the residue before it actually does the tillage so it doesn't hairpin or, or work a lot of that residue into that planting zone. As you can see, there's a lot of differences after we ran this 2984 strip freshener. Now it'll be interesting to see if these visual differences will turn into an advantage in emergence and consistent emergence and then yield this fall. Stay tuned as we continue this study throughout the summer and fall. Thanks for watching and have a great day.